Hey everybody, so <clears throat> I just saw uh, Teal Swan, she uploaded a video talking about relationships and stuff and I left a comment on her mentioning how oftentimes I've noticed this is a recurring pattern that she seems to continue to perpetuate is she seems to be blaming a lot of the issues with relationships strictly on men. And I do believe that yes, we men have um, our part to play in that, but it's, it's a two-sided, I mean, it takes two to tango, okay? It's not just the man, it's also the female. Just like it's not all these people like hating on feminism. No, it's both of us, bro. We're all fucked up. We're living in a sick society. We're all sick. We all got shit to deal with. And she made a video pretty much talking about how, oh, if you're an emotionally unavailable man, da -da 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 -da. and it's like, let me just tell you, because I feel like that was largely directed towards my person and people like me. <clears throat> I don't, I still have not yet seen any female that I'm really attracted to online because you guys, you guys are the ones that personally, I mean, think about it. I'm sitting here talking about saving children, saving the animals, saving the planet. Those are very like, it's, it's not the most, I mean, it feels more, that, that's type of, that is the type of stuff that I feel people of a more nurturing or a feminine disposition should be talking about. But the fact that I don't see hardly any, if any, females talking about that. In fact, I see much more men speaking about issues that females should be talking about. To me, suggests reasons why a lot of men don't feel good about connecting with females. Because it's like, you guys' emotions are all over. You're just selfish. Like, I'm just being real with you guys. Like, it's a lot of selfish energy. And even my mother portrays a lot of this. Like, she's very, she likes having her things. She likes having very nice things. Like, and it's like, whoa, okay, that's it's actually not good if it's coming from a fucked up way. And like that's the mojo I'm feeling is perpetuated by a lot of you females. You guys feel entitled to a lot of this shit that comes from really fucked up means. And at the same time, you're really not doing anything to speak on topics like the children, like the animals, like the planet, like the waters that are being continuously fucked up every single day by us. But then you want to point the finger at us males saying that we're the ones unemotionally available. And it's like, well, you could say that, but it's just because I don't feel like my emotionality can connect with other people's emotionality. If you don't, if what I'm saying does not make sense to you. If you can't even give what I'm doing a thumbs up, or you can't even send me a text and say, I appreciate what you're doing, trying to save this planet and the animals and the waters, then I'm not going to be able to connect with you. It's that. I know what I fucking came here to do. This is ridiculous. We're literally killing endangered species at an alarming fucking rate because of the way we continue to produce and, and, and uh, fucking these infrastructures. It's all about the infrastructure. And what have I been talking about for the last two years? Creating a new infrastructure. In doing so, we will be able to give these animals, these people, that are the, the children that are in need of, of help and, and medical care and shelter and all these things, protection, we'll give, be able to give all of them and the waters and the earth a place to be able to be safe and to heal themselves and to help each other and help themselves. Okay, because I don't see people really supporting that. I have an issue and, and it's just like I'm just not able to connect. Like that's what I feel most highly connected to. And so that's the partner that I want is somebody who's supportive of that because it's not about me. It's about the greater good for all. So until I see that, until I feel that, I'm not going to feel, I'm not going to be able to connect with somebody emotionally because that's who I am. And I know who I am and most people don't know who they are. So that's why I'm not able to connect with most people because they're still learning who they are, which is fine. But again, it's a two-way sword. So it's like, there's only so much I can do. Like, I'm not going to go and try and engage with somebody when they're clearly not supportive of what it is I'm doing. And I don't want to force somebody to change their mind. So I'm just going to let them do what the fuck they want to do. You know, and if you're going to just throw these ultimatums at me and all absolutisms, like, oh, it's never going to happen. It's like, first of all, you have no idea what the future is going to hold. Okay, each and every day is changing. Each and every moment's different. For you to present that idea, like, oh, it's an absolutism, like, it's all, it's all going to be over. Like, I've dealt with people like that in the past, and most of the time they're liars. Um, they have low self-esteem issues. They don't really want to do anything to help anybody else out, and they just have issues, man. So, like, that in itself is coming from a place of toxicity. So, Teal Swan, you might want to take a look at yourself and examine what you're doing and why you're not, as a female, trying to help nurture the rest of life the way that you should be, in my opinion. All right, y'all take care. Bye.